Hey everybody, it's Metal Bro, back with a shorter video here for uh, 7 Days uh, console version, new version. So, um, I'm taking, you know, I saw earlier today, like, you know, Skippy did a video on this topic of, and we're going to be explaining, I'm going to be explaining how game saves work to you. So, uh, you know, he did, a, he covered it earlier today, but, you know, I want to help him, I want to help out and help him spread the world, uh, the word out as much as possible, you know, like on this, you know, want to be kind of the, you know, want to just want to help blossom this into a bigger community and, you know, like, help them alleviate some frustrations. So we're going to go into it really quick, so we'll just hit, like, new game, but you can see that, like, how this did, how the save uh, works, so how the saving system works, you'll see this, like, Save data and the bottom of it, and then it's like it'll say like used and gray, green for selected. Like when you're selecting game saves and continue, and then like you'll see the little sliver of red, which is <laughs> called required. Like when you don't have any uh, save game space, and you see yellow, which is pending. Like this is like the save data you're going to be taking up when you. Uh, when you uh, are making a new world, and then it's like if you have like, and like if you're booting up your first game on 1.0, like you start getting ready to it, you'll have like a black bar showing you how much space you have available. And so, and so, um, basically, like I've seen like in like Spartan 85 server, you know, like people were kind of, you know, even Spartan himself was complaining about like you know and they're going like this is this is kind of dumb this is stupid like you can only have two game saves which it seems really dumb like uh that because like legacy version the ps4 slash xbox one version has you know four game save slots and it's like so it seems kind of a downgrade at first and i thought this as well now this is how they actually have managed to do it so basically what you're gonna go what you want to go do is like say if you want to start up a say you have like two saves in your world like on load on your console already you want to make a new one you're you're you want to have like another save and uh so basically what you want to do here is click down you want to come down to manage saves and then you'll see here basically like you'll have your You'll have like your worlds, like for all your for your pregens and all that stuff. Uh, but what you want to do is like you'll see here for saves. So like I have my world for New Era, which like you'll see more videos coming on that like here in the next few days. But what you what you'll see is like uh, you'll see like delete save and an archive. So what archiving does is actually, what you'll do is like, uh, it'll, it explains it here. Archiving save reduces its size while making it temporarily unplayable. Archive saves can be restored at any time if enough space is available. So basically, hit archive, and like you'll see that it says 44 megabytes now, but like when it's when this game is active. It'll, you'll see it as uh, like 429 megabytes. So basically, archiving it, and archiving the world will reduce the world size uh, down to as much as possible. We'll compact it. So basically, it's kind of a and really like uh, this is a really cool way to do it. And it's like I don't know how they figured out how to do this, but this is really cool for having like you know multiple worlds and you know people do say like oh like you know like what happens like and also I won't before I get into that you, you'll notice that like my continue game is grayed out now I can't hit it basically like if you archive your world like uh, your one world that you want to play more of and you want to exit access it what you want to do is you want to go into you just want to go back into saves, uh, just go into new game, and then come over here, and then just come back down and restore it, and then it's, and it's all good. 
like so that's how that all works but people say like you know, I was like I looked at some comments on Skippy's video Skippy zero there zero three three zero his video and people were going some there was a couple people asking like well why would you want more than two worlds on your on your console it's like uh, people don't realize like some people don't realize like seven days to die is like a very dedicated game too it has a very dedicated player base and it's like myself personally when i was playing on legacy version with over with over uh and like i had like well over i think i had over 600 hours into it it's like uh that's not the most by any means but it's like towards the end like when i did my final my last live stream for it, like i had all my world slots to uh, taken up like all four of them and people don't realize like people like players in this game will do multiple they will do multiple playthroughs it's not just one or two playthroughs like say if i can you know, i might have like a creative world for testing out stuff and everything like that and it's like and say if somebody wants to and say like if I start, if I want to start a world with, with like, with my friend Bings, you know, for, for, uh, which you'll see, you know, you'll hopefully see a playthrough of like a season, second season of co-op if you're familiar with my channel soon, but, and say like it take my world's not big enough, well I don't have enough safe space, I can literally just come in and just you know archive it like I did, you know just. Just delete the delete. And we'll just restore the file size. Uh, we'll archive it down to a very small space, and then uh, then I can just restore it. And it's like when it's time done playing with Fangs. It's but it's like you you could have several worlds and everything. And it's like to me, this is a really cool way of doing it. I really like it. Now, this is the only thing I'd have to suggest to the fun pimps. Some, and this is this is probably still in its early phases, but the only thing I would have to ask is maybe like you know when you start updating the game fun pimps just to up the save data size that way we can store more worlds like say if we say if we have like a whole bunch of games going at once. But yeah, that's gonna be about it for today's episode, guys. I thought you know like I'd show some light and you know like do a bit more. But a little bit more in depth of like explanations of the saves here and on the new console version of seven days and so if you like what you see in this video and you want to see more content from me please uh, leave a like comment subscribe down below and please turn on your notifications and uh, I will see you in the next video have a great day and take care